It is a whopping 14 degrees in Utah right now. I did not want to get up this morning. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to do anything. Didn't want to scrape my windows. Yeah, as you can hear the uh, defroster going, I'm just sitting here. I'm gonna be late. But my hands are so cold that I'm like, uh, -uh. I'm not ruining my day just because I need to scrape my windshield. So, yeah, 14. 14 degrees! It's too cold. Way too cold. And my hair is kind of crazy today. I decided to go curly and it's... The bangs are like wackadoo. Anyway, this is day four. It is Tuesday. And it's Vlogmas. So... Tuesday and I will talk to you soon. Bye. If I know how to turn this off. Glove fingers. Not working so well. So it's made it up to a whopping 27 degrees. So gloves in hand and a coat. We are now taking a lunchtime walk. So I normally do uh, three times around, which is a 5K, but um, yeah, it's too cold, so my lungs will not handle me running, so we're jogging. So I figured I'd still get out and do the, the uh, sun, so yeah, it's not a bad time, and as you can see behind me, the university is really good about clearing the the uh, sidewalks and all. So, anyway, lovely lunchtime soiree around the university, just touring and you know seeing the sights. I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and tonight I have a package from Log and Jotter. And this is uh, a subscription service that I signed up for, for uh, notebooks um, that are field note size, but not actual field notes, that go in my pocket traveler's notebook. And I'll go into that in just a minute, but I've never gotten a log and jotter before, and I wanted to try them out. I've been getting quite a few of the um, field notes, and by quite a few, I mean quite a few. And I uh, wanted to try Log and Jotter out. So I am going to open that now. I've never gotten their notebooks, like I said. And this is the first time I'm even seeing their subscription and what it's like. So I don't wanna, ah, okay. So I am getting, it's, it's 850 a month and you get a colorful, and a plain um, notebook. And so, all right, so there's that. Woo, ooh, okay, yay, awesome. So you get two of these. Um, so two notebooks for 850, oh, and it's a duck grid, yay. So this comes in, um, huh, pressure pad page marker. I'm assuming that this is like the, uh, Shitajiki, the pencil board. Um, welcome to the family. I'll let you guys see that. Um, Log and Jotter is excited to start a new journey with you, and we are honored that you have decided to join us. The Log and Jotter subscription was built on our desire to help bridge the gap between the conveniences that technology gives us in sharing and storing our events and the nostalgia and history that comes with having a physical reminder of the memory. Please join us by filling your log and jotter with grocery lists, and new ideas, inspirational thoughts, stories, memories, projects, sketches, and anything else that pertains to everyday life. Our goal is to encourage you to record life in a way that can be kept and collected forever. Uh, this insert works great as a page marker and a pressure pad. Place it behind the page you're working on to keep sketches and writings from marking the page behind it. Perfect. So I really like that. And so this is, these are all made in America. And um, flip the pocket carry, flip for pocket carry. Let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Hold on just a moment. Tear, little man. You're making mama crazy. All right, just know that he might kind of jot in here. So it feels very much like a field notes type book. Um, so you've got a place for your records, your phone number, your log, the dates when you start and when you finish, log summary or a travel log. And because this is the Christmas one or one in December, every um, Christmas movie facts. Um, so I will let you read those. Every minute of A Nightmare Before Christmas took nearly a week to film. That's cool. Huh. Interesting. Ooh. Sorry, that was Tears Tale. Uh, Jim Carrey was originally picked to star an elf. The creator of Rudolph nearly chose, the name, chose to name the reindeer Reginald. That would have made quite the tongue twister for singing the song. In Home Alone 2, all of the extras in the Duncan's toy store scenes were allowed to keep one toy as part of their salary. Macaulay chose to keep the talk boy. And the ornaments Marv steps on in Home Alone were actually made of candy. Um, so I believe there are 48 pages. Um, so issue design is called Cool Jerk. I'm trying to get this so you guys can see it. And issue date is December 2018. Um, and this talks about um, the log and jotter inspiration. And you get a ruler with centimeters there. Important dates, favorite Christmas movies. And, okay, that's very cool. You get inches here in the front cover and centimeters in the back cover. That is very cool. So I'm thinking there's 48 pages. Let me just check here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's uh, 40 pages if you count front and back. So there's 20 and 20. And then two staples. So there's Cool Jerk. And then this one, ah, Talk Boy. Um, so that's from Home Alone. And again, the same information on the inside. And it is the dot grid, which is what I chose. And yeah, log and jotter. And this one is called, I guess, Cool Jerk. Both of them. So I love these. These are awesome. Ah, oh, very excited for these. Okay. Very, you, I got both of these and got it shipped for $8.50. So I like that a lot. All right, now. What I'm using these for, now this is my uh, Montana Badlands uh, Zencraft pocket. It was a folio and I, I posted a couple of pictures on Instagram when it was a folio. However, it was, it was just too big and I will show you what I mean. Ah! So this is another one of Zencraft's um, uh, folios. And you can put two folio or two notebooks, these are both field notes, in here, no problem. And this is just a, 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 a board that I have in the back. So that normally does not come with that. So you can put two field notes in here. But when you shut it, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit big for me. And you have all of this extra space here, which I don't really like. What my dream would be, would have it be literally, you have two books and it's just barely around this. I just want like a, a tight fitting cover. So when you open the two books, they're barely enough room to open it and then you just shut them. That's what I want. And I've ordered a couple of different uh, covers. Um, so hopefully we'll find that out. But I, I couldn't help myself because I love the Montana Badlands um, leather. And this is the week's cover that I have from him. And this is just the folio. I haven't put anything in that one because this holds my mega perfectly. But when I got this, I was like, you know, I wonder. And I almost did this one instead just to see. 
but they were exactly the same size. And this is the uh, uh, oh, I want to say water buffalo, but it's not water buffalo. It's um, I, I will have to post it if I can figure out what it is. So what I did is I obviously put a strap on the outside and my um, masa charm and my imagine charm at the top. But inside of here, I have on the inside cover, this is a, uh, this does have a pen um, sleeve there, but I'm not using it because again, I like it to be flat. And now had this been on the outside, I would have totally used it. But because it's on the inside, I want it to lay as flat as I can get it. So yeah. Um, and because he, he doesn't do customs, um, you know, that one's just kind of there. And I thought, you know, that I could also use that for like a clip um, like that. And so I could put that in there and it's still pretty flat, but I don't know. So what I have in here, this is a Fabriano uh, pocket uh, dot grid notebook and it's, um, I have it slid into the front pocket and that's my bullet journal. So I've just been treating it like a regular bullet journal and this is kind of my on the go bullet journal and it's replacing the, what I was using my rings for. So it's just on the go stuff that I can take and then put in wherever I need it. Um, and then in here I have on a string, I've got, I did, here, let me take them all out so I can show you what I did and then I'll put them all back in as I tell you what they are. So what I did was I strung it um, the same way as my other pockets, uh, my pocket notebooks, and this came with it the, with the card sleeve there. And I've got some stickers and stuff in there, but uh, I just strung it the same way as my Kodiak, uh, my Kodiak um, speckled fawns. And so two, two holes at the top and two holes at the bottom, and then I strung them on the outside and then put the strap on the outside and I love it. So what I have in here is this is my dirt in my skirt. Well, actually it's not, that's just the sticker, but this is the yellow paper house and it's the running log. And so I keep on my runs in this and I've been doing this since May. So uh, that's how I keep track. And so I've got that in the last string. Then this is a dashboard, it's a Chic Sparrow dashboard. And what's in here is my Yellow Paper House uh, food journal. And so I just have a piece of vellum inside that and it says life begins after coffee and it's got the little coffee beans and the coffee mug and I love it. So, um, and this is my food journal and I started again on December 3rd or December 1st. And again, eventually I will get to a point where I'm putting in all of the, of the, the, the reason I love this is it's got the calories, carbs, fat, and protein for everything that I can put in. But yeah, I just gotta find time to do it. So then I've got that on that string. The next I've got the Yellow Paper House trackers. And um, this is where I'm keeping track of all my uh, November and December um, habit trackers. And for December, I miswrote, and I thought this was where December was starting. Yeah, so I now have to backtrack January and February and March, but it's because I started writing December before I realized it was in the wrong spot. That's okay. For December, what I'm tracking is uh, my seven to eight hours of sleep every night, 80 ounces of water per day, uh, target one small declutter task every day that will help organize the house, and then exercise daily in addition to every other day, try training. And my quote of the month is, the purpose of life is to be defeated by greater and greater things by Rainier Maria Rilke. And so the habits that I'm tracking are seven to eight hours of sleep, 80 hours of water, writing daily, decluttering daily, 20 minutes of clean daily, reading daily, um, which I haven't done yet, I usually do it before bed, my AM medication, my PM medication, my reflection, my bullet journal, my budget, when I'm doing my budget uh, planner and then going into um, my Hobonichi and 
closing out the day, I'm doing that in my weeks, self-care weeks. Miracle Morning, I'm trying to get back into that habit um, with my uh, uh, English planner, Techo, but it just hasn't happened yet, and I will be, this weekend, I, I'll set it up again to finish out the month. Um, whether or not I drank Coke during that day, and I had a Coke on the first, otherwise I have not. Um, did I exercise um, regardless of what it was? Did I do a rest day? Um, did I upload for Vlogmas? Uh, and if I did exercise with a run, a bike, or a swim. So there you have it. So that's what I'm doing there. And that goes without a cover. I do have some new um, pocket. I've got some more uh, pocket dashboards coming, but I haven't gotten them yet. And then last but not least, and this is the whole reason I wanted to show you this. Um, this is another Chic Sparrow um, pocket size uh, dashboard. And I've got the field notes calendar um, for 2018 and then 2019 here. And this is my field note, my field notes. And this is a uh, pitch black. Um, each field notes, if you didn't know, has a name um, based on the cover. And this is the one I've been doing since November 11th. This is book one. And this is where I'm just doing little um, my journal blurbs and I've just been writing there's no note or there's no drawing there's no nothing and for the first little while I was actually using my black wings pencil but I switched to pen because at times I get to a point where the 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 feel of pencil on paper it's like a texture thing and I, I get to a point where I can't take it um, my pencils have to be super, super sharp for me to use them. If they get rounded on the on the on the tip, I don't like it. And so it, when it starts like, I and I can't explain it. It's just a tactile feeling when you feel the paper, the pen or the pencil against the paper. Um, a lot of people who use uh, fountain pens like the, to feel the flow of ink. And they don't want it to be scratchy, but I want my pencil to be scratch a little bit scratchy. Um, and so, I I bought a box of Black Wings, and uh, I did the hardest graphite. But the graphite is still in the 602s. It's still a little too soft. But um, rumor has it that they do every once in a while in their volumes come out with a super hard graphite. Which, soon as I know one is like that, then I will get that get a box of those and try them out um i don't like their soft the pearl wing or the pearl black wings um or the ones that are black because they are the softer graphite and i just i don't like it and it doesn't stay as a sharpened point so that being said you know every once in a while i'll go back to the pencil and um use it when i can but right now i'm in a in a phase where i just don't like it but I did like it all the way up till uh, 11, eight. So in here, I can, I just write anything at any time. If I, if I'm, you know, somewhere at work where I've got a few minutes or downtime, or there's something that I want to write about. I broke this out the minute I heard Stan Lee died. Um, the artist Stan Lee and uh, he was the he was the creator of a lot of Marvel characters, but you know like Thor and Spider Man and Captain Marvel and all of those. So I brought I to help cope with the feelings because I was at work. I just pulled it out, went to the break room, and just wrote out some things to keep me from crying. And so that's what these are. And I wanted to keep them, and so that's why I've got. At the front here, um, book one, and uh, I will date these and keep them, and that's why I wanted better notebooks to keep, and so not just regular inserts. I wanted actual field notes. Um, I do have the subscription, and um, so every quarter you get uh, two, three packs of the subscription uh, of the new release. And the last one was clandestine. And uh, it's got a whole mystery around it. It's kind of like, um, they call it the Agents of Field, which 
I totally love, but I have not had the time to break in and find out all the different um, code breaking and all this kind of thing. But um, I am back in the field notes or pocket size traveler's notebook, um, and I'll switch back and forth. I um, had originally thought that I was going to use my emerald rings, but because I was getting so many of the field notes, um, I wanted to um, use continue to use these. But I'm not sure I'm going to continue with the uh, with the um, food planner or the f food tracker. I don't know. Um, or I may put the rings back into rotation. I don't know. But for right now, I just missed the traveler's notebook style. And I, because I got this and I wanted to try it, but it looks fantastic. Together with my, this is the Story of Us we, uh, Weeks. Um, and I still use my Calypso uh, that uh, Tiffany Lou gave me. Um, this is my Calypso for my self-care weeks. And so these two are probably the one, well, I'm only getting one weeks. So I, I have not decided which one I will carry for 2018 or 2019. Um, I'll probably switch them back and forth, but y'all know I love this thing. And it is so like full of stuff. So I'll go through this. Um, I want to do a little bit of plan with me. And that's kind of why I have you here. You're actually in my, um, the main office where, or the Graham cave, which is the study where my husband's desk is just right over there. And I would show you, but it's covered with crap. And so what I was thinking of doing is, um, trying to do a plan with me with, for my weeks and stuff for one of these, uh, one of the vlogmases, but where I have it set up in my studio, it's very hard for me to see and write at the same time. And so I wanted to try to do it here because it's got the lower, the dropped um, desk, uh, the keyboard tray. And so I could still write and do all of my um, updates and stuff here, but not worry about hitting the, hitting the camera or having my head in the way. And I can see everything and I can do that. So we're gonna test that and see how that works. So um, this whole Vlogmas, we're going to be trying a lot of different things. So there you go. You may be getting some live, or not live, but me actually doing my planning and updating on my books. So there you have that and my Log and Jotters, which are the same size as Field Notes, and I really like these. And these are all handmade, hand done. Um, so I'm very impressed with them so far. Uh, I have not written in these yet, but once I, I'll probably put this into the rotation next just to try it. Um, and then this one, let's see what I've, how many pages I've got left. One, two, three, four, five, five or six pages left. So this may or may not make it through the week. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I will put in the new rotation. So there you have it, my updated information, or my updated, um, sorry, my husband is calling me and I'm like, ah! But anyway, um, my unboxing of the Log and Jotters and my update on my pocket. So my newly done traveler's notebook that was started out as a folio. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.